बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मैडम बिफोर आई कम टू दी जनरल इश्यूज आई वॉन्ट टू टेक द इश्यू ऑफ द पेंशन ऑफ एक्स सर्विस मैन दिस इज समथिंग विच इज एजिटेटिंग द एक्स सर्विस मैन फॉर क्वाइट ए लॉन्ग टाइम एंड रिसेंटली द अपोजिशन लीडर्स मेट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑन हिज इन्विटेशन एंड द ऑनरेबल डिफेंस मिनिस्टर वॉज ऑल्सो देयर हेयर ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस आई वुड पॉइंटेडली वॉन्ट टू पुट इन दिस इशू द एक्स सर्विस मैन हैव बीन एजुटेटिंग फॉर वन रैंक वन पेंशन फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम द यूजल आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट वॉज बींग गिवन इज दैट इट विल नॉट बी पॉसिबल टू मेक ए रीजनेबल डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन एक्स सर्विस मैन एंड द other government employees civilian employees in this regard i had a consultation with the attorney general mr soli sorab ji when we were in the government and he had told us that a reasonable distinction can very clearly be made the tenure of the jawan or the army man is much shorter then the tenure of the civilians in fact for the jawan it is only 17 or 18 years and it is a very short tenure of employment so the duration of employment opportunity is small the risk is much higher certainly the last risk that one takes is when one goes to the army or the air force or the navy also the time of stay away from his family you have to calculate in the defense service so the hardships are much greater than any other service at the same time even in the constitution it is given that the president of india is the supreme commander of the armed forces this is a very very special provision this specific provision itself distinguishes this force from the other i want to assure the honorable minister that if any legislation is required or anything of that sort is required to protect the ex servicemen we are ready to cooperate with the government and the government can bring a legislation where there can be no doubt about their separate classification in this regard the national front government had taken a decision in october 2010 to give benefits of pension to the ex servicemen the ccp had taken the decision of giving benefits from sepoy to subedar major level the government had in mind to give it to all the officers also the commitment of the government for the officers was made clear through a press release on behalf of the government i want to state it clearly on the floor of the house that in matters of public interest there is no question of secrecy because we are all concerned with a matter in which the ex servicemen are emotionally involved may i state that from the meeting we had with the prime minister in the presence of the defense minister we clearly understood and we were given the assurance that the benefits that will accrue to the ex servicemen will not be less than what the national front government had agreed to give them here also we were given the assurance that a statement to this effect would be made on the floor of the house by the defense minister i look forward to that statement and that clarification on the floor of the house i want to make it clear on behalf of the janata dal 
that unless this clarification is coming forth very clearly and categorically that the benefits to the ex servicemen will be not less than what had already been decided it will not be possible for the janta dal to further get into any commitment or any other proposal of this nature because this is the minimum assurance that we look forward to on the floor of the house governments may come and governments may go but any assurance given on the floor of the house has much greater weight this is what we have understood if there is any difference in understanding between the honorable minister and what i am saying it may be clarified but this is what we demand on the floor of the house today the announcement must come right now from the defense minister that the benefits will not be less than what had already been decided upon by the government now coming to the general debate though there is a 4% increase a nominal increase in the budget provisions of the defense ministry if we take care of global inflation and devaluation in real terms there is a cut in the defense budget we know that there is an economic hardship we are in difficult times but import of real cut in real terms should be fully understood it is necessary that a holistic view is needed when it comes to the defense and security and we cannot take only a fiscal approach to it security is not merely a matter of the defense ministry because of international environment foreign policy economic situation various social forces in the country any elements of alienation that may be taking place in any part of the country drugs and their connection with terrorism